Al Bernstein here in the dressing room of John Molina and with John Molina who just scored a dramatic and exciting uh, victory in the 10th round when he knocked out Mickey Bay. Well, for nine and three quarter rounds, uh, though you had landed some good punches, you were probably on the losing end of this and then you were able to get that big left hook in. Are you sure you're not biased there? No, <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, hey, uh, I always tell people my style's not pretty, but I get the job done. I'm a grinder. I got a lot of heart. My fight makes fights intriguing and I believe that's going to keep me in the fight all the time. And that's going to make the fans want to see me win, win the fight that way. Well, yeah, you, and you have been in some of the most exciting fights for sure. Now, you, in that 10th round, he actually got in some great punches, and it looked like you were momentarily dazed. And so that made it even more remarkable that you were able to come back. Was there ever any moment in that 10th round where you didn't think you were going to get it done? If, if you thought that, you're in the wrong business. That's like saying if a cop kind of wants to be a cop, you shouldn't be a cop. We're in the boxing business. We're there to exchange. We know a fight, fight game is a fight game. Mickey Bay is a hell of a competitor, very athletic, came in his backyard, did what he had to do, has a decent punch, not a big punch, but mm -hmm. a decent punch. And, uh, you know, you don't get marked on your face like this when you don't have a decent punch. No. And uh, he did what he had to do, but I did what I had to do, and I got the job done, and, and I'm very grateful and, and lived to fight another day. Yeah, and John, this one was a very important match for you. Maybe maybe a career hanging in the balance in a way, at least in terms of being in uh, fights that matter for you. In, in the boxing community, of course, but I know myself. I, I know where we're at. I didn't turn pro until I was 24. And we keep fighting. I got a family at home, and this is my job. This is how I pay my mortgage. This is how I support my family. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight to the nail, as I shown that night. And if anything, the fans are gonna fall in love with my style, and I love that. And, and I'm, I'm ready for any fight. 135, 140, knocking on my door. And uh, if you've seen the fight, granted he was out pointing, if you will. I was tracking him down the whole time. Well, you were. You stalked him the entire fight, and you did land some very good overhand rights. In a way, it was interesting. I remember as I was watching the fight thinking that you got some left hooks in, and I thought that left hook might be a weapon. Did you think of that? In the, was that something you were consciously trying to land in the last round or two? Oh, of course, because he knew the right was going on, coming on. Coming on. But you got to remember, sometimes the people in the crowd that are on his side, sometimes they're, they're, they're going to be to his demise. Because they tell him, look out for the right. So all I got to do is faint yeah. the right through the left, and there it is. Because in his mind, he's already expecting the right. Mm -hmm. So I fainted the right through the left. It's not the prettiest. It's not a Floyd Mayweather shot, but it's going to land. And with my power, if I land, I'm going to hurt you. That's for sure. Now, one last thing. Did you feel like at, at the end of this fight, when he was showboating a little bit, do you think he kind of got overconfident? Of course. He, I don't want to take anything away from Mickey Bay, great fighter, but his was facade. Mine was for real. He, he was doing it to try to psych himself out that he was still... He, he was going to outdo me. I didn't mind to show his discouragement and see if he could grow up past the discouragement. If you look at him, uh, great amateur, but the amateur and the pro game are two different beasts, and I think that showed it tonight. Well, congratulations on your win. John Molina gets uh, a big come-from-behind win, uh, stopping Mickey Bay and perhaps pushing him toward uh, some very meaningful fights.